Hi, right, Baruch Hashem. We're here uh, today learning from the Sefer Lakuti 8 Sos. It's um, a collection of Rabbi Nachman of Breslov's teachings. Uh, very, very short, uh, short, sweet, and to the point teachings on a uh, number of different subjects, everything from faith to trust, to etc. So uh, right now we're in the chapter on Sadiq. Uh, tzadik uh, means a righteous individual, but specifically what we're talking about today is this idea of a singular Sadiq, a singular righteous individual who is basically, uh, basically the whole world depends on him. He's the one who draws down godliness into the world. Like, for instance, Moshe Rabbeinu, uh, Moses, uh, was, you know, the tzaddik of his generation. He's the one who revealed the Torah. And uh, so, too, in every generation, there's a, a tzaddik like this who, you know, everything depends on. Okay, so Rabbi Nachman teaches here. Uh, trying to get this focused. All right, do the best we can. Says ha tzaddik ha emes hu ha peer va ha va ha yofi va achin shol kolo olam kolo. Um. So the uh, the true tzaddik is the uh, splendor and the beauty and the grace of all the world. Who bala bai shol kolo olam kolo. He's the head of the house of the whole world. You know, basically he's like the main guy. And he's the Baal Bais, he's the master of the house of the Holy Temple. Um, and, you know, we believe in the Holy Temple in Jerusalem, which is not in existence right now, but waiting for it to be rebuilt. So uh, he's also the head of the house of the Baal, of the Beis HaMikdash, of the um, Holy Temple. Because he uh, uh, lights up, uh, he shines into the... Um, the, the holy temple and all the world. He illuminates and lights up everything for the world and for for everybody. Because he's the light and the splendor and the beauty and the grace of all the world. And when this tzaddik, when his name becomes famous and great in the world, through, through this, God's name becomes great in the world. Um, basically, the idea is that godliness is only revealed through this tzaddik, and so by making the tzaddik famous and great, we're also making God God's name famous and great. And all the more that uh, the tzaddik's name is made great and splendorous in the world. So too, all the more that God's name is made great and splendorous in the world. And anyone who wants to be included in this name of truth, uh, the tzaddik's name, Shu hapeer va ha chin va chin. I'm sorry. Shu hapeer va chin ha ms shokololam kunal. That is, um, the, you know, he is the splendor and the true grace of all the world. Um, basically, just to backtrack, uh, whoever wants to be included in, in, the na- in the true name of the tzaddik, um, who is the Splendor and true grace of all the world. The Hainu Shemiskar, the love Nichlab Shemo, that is, whoever wants to draw close to him and be included in his name, Al Yedezen Iftachin Enav. Through this, through being included, through drawing close to the Tzaddik and being included in his name, your eyes are opened. And then you're able to to look at yourself, all um, all your Midos, all your character traits. Echu Ochez Bahem, that uh, have all hold on him that you're like steeped in these character traits these, these bad traits and stuff um, basically when once you draw close to the tzaddik so then your eyes are open and you're able to look at everything you're doing in this world and all of your bad traits and your good traits also and you're able to see what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong and uh, assess yourself and then you're able and to return to God, you're able to make a tshuva, to make repentance on all of the, your evil midos and all your bad character traits and on everything that you've blemished through your sins.
because um, basically before you come to the tzaddik, you know, a person doesn't really know what they're doing wrong or what they're doing right. Um, you know, before you come to the tzaddik, you're, you're like a confused mess. You know, you don't really know what you're doing in this world. But when you come to the tzaddik, when you draw close to him, meaning, you know, through learning his teachings and fulfilling what he says, um, then you're able to see, look at yourself and see what you're doing wrong and what you're doing right, and you're able to fix it. And then you merit to be able to look at the greatness of the blessed Creator. You're able to also, you know, understand the godliness, because the godliness is revealed through the tzaddik. And you're able to look at all the world. Because your eyes and your mind are opened. I the tzaddik is through the true tzaddik, through drawing close to him. Shemir b'chololam, who illuminates all the world. Um, and that's it, that's the end of this uh, teaching here. Uh, so basically the point is, there is this true tzaddik, and for anyone who wants to have their eyes open to the truth, and be able to return to God, and you know live a, a good life and improve themselves, etc., etc., they need to draw close to him, meaning to you know know who he is, learn his teachings, listen to what he says, and he also says he's been included in his name. So we know that uh, his name is Nanach Nachman Nachman Yuman, Rabbi Nachman of Breslov, and the truth is just by saying his name, just by saying Nanach or by saying Rabbi Nachman, you're including yourself in in his name, and that itself is already a step towards coming close to him. All right, so Baruch Hashem, in the merit of the true tzaddik, may we all be able to return to God in complete repentance and bring the complete redemption for ourselves and for all the world. Na nach nachma nachman yuman.